What in the world's going on, everybody? This is Island Hopper TV coming to you from Bratislava here in the capital of Slovakia, right here on the Danube River that connects to Vienna and Budapest as well. And we're gonna give you a travel guide of the old town and some of the castles and palaces around the area. Coming to you from Bratislava here in the old town. We're gonna do a cruise through here, see what this place has to offer. Let's do it. We are right here in the main square. It's uh, Friday afternoon at around 3 p.m. I've already been walking around the old town a bit. There's some happening stuff along this little path. This is actually a pretty big old town. This is where most of the happening goes on. Just basically going in both directions. The direction we're headed right now is actually towards the waterfront so we're going to show you guys around this uh, capital of Slovakia population 500,000 people formerly Czechoslovakia but now just Slovakia and Czech Republic I arrived on a train from Vienna Austria took about an hour and ten minutes to get here Real quick. It's really close to Vienna. That was a slow-moving train, too It's a lot more relaxed compared to what I've just come from in most of those cities and That's a good thing for me So we'll pick up as I get closer to the waterfront here So here we are in Hisel de la Volvo Namiesti. Sounds almost like Namaste. We're really close to Austria, like I said, but also very close to Hungary. So you had Czech Republic and then you had Austria Hungary. The interesting thing about Slovakia as a country is there's actually more cast castles here than anywhere else. Per capita. This is like a place to come see castles all across Slovakia. Yeah, so here we are right along the waterfront. You can see they've got this, uh, like, cruise ship. You get your own cabin right there. On the top deck, they have what looks like some party area. It's called the Scenic Jewel along the Danube River. And then they have that big lookout tower right there. Let's go look around. Call this the passenger port. I was looking up the uh, headwaters for the Danube, and it's actually somewhere in uh, like Germany. I was assuming that with the amount of water that comes out of here, it was maybe the headwaters were in the Alps, but I didn't see anything that indicated that the Alps were responsible for this big river that connects Vienna. Jeez. Vienna, um, Bratislava, and Budapest. I think some more uh, cities also. And here we are right outside the Radisson Blue Carlton Hotel Bratislava. It's actually really close to everything right here. We got probably the best location. I'm staying at the AC Marriott. But Radisson's its own company. It's actually a Chinese-owned 
hotel chain. I don't have a membership program with them yet. It's a nice little area right here. Get that bridge. It's a nice area down here. Just give you a little look down in here. But now we will head more into the city center here. Historical city center. Sushi restaurant. Okay, so I came in and get some Japanese sushi here. It's right in the city center. Udon beef soup. Okay, so I stopped in to get... What is that? A... Soup. Just because I have a little bit of a headache thing, like a fever, a little bit. So, soup helps with that. Here's a nice old town road. A castle at the top. Okay. We've got the Harrard Castle. You can actually do a real walking tour right there. Passage to Old City. Harrod Castle, huh? H R A D. It's like they're remodeling that structure. And now we're actually coming to the new town. Kind of leaving the old town. <clears throat> it's a bit of a walk, huh? Nah, it's not that bad, but still a walk. Nice town. Nice old town. Bratislava. It's the capital. There's that Harrard Castle. Okay, so it's the next day. You can see Benko Casino right here. I believe that's the Intercontinental. And yeah, now we're gonna head over to the castle. I'm gonna go under this uh, building structure here. My hotel is like right here. It's also next to the presidential castle or palace, which I'll try to show you guys. Still under the weather, but uh, <clears throat> it's manageable. It's just, I'd say I'm at like 75 to 80%. I can't tell if it's getting better or staying the same. But at least I think the fever has stopped because the body aches are not there. No weird noise. But this is like a mall underneath. I thought it was a metro at first. But I'm going to get some Vietnamese soup considering the circumstances. Yeah. So soup time. And there is the presidential palace. So let's keep walking over here to Harad Castle. H. Rad. Harad. It's 
it's been raining all morning and the forecast is calling for no rain the last uh, few hours of the afternoon here. All right. Rod. Castle. It got quite humid and hot. But I made it up here to Herod Castle. This is a spicy little hike. A lot of humidity in the air. It's also called Bratislava Castle. You can just call it that also. Okay. Nice view here. Yeah, it took about a 25 minute hike, maybe less, 20, 25. Mostly uphill. I took the long route on the road. It's like here comes the rain again. Oh no. All right. Okay. Interesting. So come to find out there's actually a faster way to get down. But here comes the rain. I don't know what to think about all this rain here. There's a way down that goes 12 minutes though. I'm gonna show you around, but turns out Parad is just castle and Slovakian. So it's actually Bratislava Castle. Or Bratislava Parad. Alright. So as I said earlier, Slovakia is known for its castles. Or Harads. There's that UFO right there. The UFO bridge. Rain, rain, rain. I don't mind a little bit of rain, especially in the summertime. Because as you can see, I am wearing short sleeves and shorts. kind of hot even though it's raining it's like there's hotness around here being contained by the moisture and the rain Bratislava what, is, what an interesting city I've actually had a nice time here relaxing it's uh, a lot less <clears throat> intense with tourists that's for sure and after some of these hot spots it's nice to kind of hang out here I plan tomorrow to go to Budapest I was checking hotel rooms they basically go like one third the price they are today if I try to stay there tonight it was gonna be five to six to seven hundred dollars a night tomorrow I found some hotels anywhere between one to two hundred dollars, which is okay. I think they're still kind of riding a wave from the uh, Grand Prix. Here's a good view of Bratislava. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. What a view, huh? Some of the routes down the mountain are actually closed away from the castle back in the old town but here's the garden
Okay. Very interesting garden. We've got to find another way down the mountain. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I found the alternate exit and entrance, which is right here. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Let's see. This looks like it. Hmm. German Turkish. Very interesting. So up there is the castle, and here's like the other side of the road. <laughs> uh huh. The UFO bridge. German Turks, yeah. The Turkish were coming up here, so there's like, this this is like a mix between Turkish and like German backgrounds. All right, coming up into the old town again. Should we see what's going on in there? Let's see. Something loud. The church service. And some ruins or what? The museum? town it is buddy this is the same time I was down here yesterday around 3 30 4 o'clock oh wow passage into the old city what is this It's like a bazaar in Turkey or something. Okay. It's all indoors. This looks like a place you do hookah and it smells like hookah. Okay. Here's a look at some of the cuisine. Schnitzel. Looks like Salisbury steak, kind of. A fish. A sausage. This guy sound pretty good. Is that a church choir? Ah, Bratislava Hotel Crown Plaza. All right there's the presidential palace. All right, guys, with that being said, let's conclude this episode of Island Hopper TV from Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia. See you on the next one.